Welcome back to Movie Mojo. Today we are going to review the action adventure film, Jack the Giant Slayer. If you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. We upload multiple times daily. Spoilers ahead. Farm child Jack in the Kingdom of Cloister is enthralled by the myth of Eric, an old king who exterminated an army of enormous invaders from a land in the sky while commanding them with a magical crown. Princess Isabel is also enthralled with the same legend at the same time. Jack sells a horse in town for his uncle ten years later. There, Jack falls in love with Isabel while defending her honor from some hecklers. In the meantime, Lord Roderick learns that a monk stole his magic beans and provides them to Jack as security for his horse. Isabel fights with her father King Bromwell back at the castle because she wants to tour the realm while he wants her to stay and wed Roderick. In the same way, Jack's uncle chastises him for being stupid before tossing the beans on the ground and walking away. Isabel sneaks out of the castle because she is determined to be free and goes to Jack's to get out of the rain. One of the beans sprouts as it begins to rain, and as it expands, it becomes a huge beanstalk that lifts the home and Isabel into the air as Jack plummets to the earth. Jack, Roderick, and Roderick's companion Wick accompany the Knights of the King as they scale the beanstalk in quest of Isabel under the leadership of Elmont and his deputy, Craw. Five knights are thrown from the beanstalk by lightning as they climb, and Roderick and Wick purposefully cut the safety line to send them to their deaths while claiming the rope snapped. When they reach the summit, they separate into two groups, one with Jack, Elmont, and Craw, and the other with Roderick, Wick, and a knight. They then discover the giant's domain. Before surreptitiously stealing the last of Jack's beans, Roderick threatens to kill him if he tells anyone, but Jack manages to save one. A monster captures Jack's group and holds Elmont and Craw as prisoners while Jack escapes by hiding his scent underwater. Roderick lures the knight to the edge and pushes him off, but not before coming face to face with two more giants. One of them devours Wick, but Roderick dons the magical crown before meeting the same destiny. Jack pursues the giant to their castle, where Fallon, the two-headed leader of the giants, devours Craw and he discovers Isabel and Elmont in chains. Roderick enters and enslaves the prisoners with the crown as the giants are about to slay them. He authorizes the giants to eat Isabel and Elmont and tells them to assault Cloister at dawn. As one of the giants gets ready to chop up Isabel and cook Elmont as a pig in a blanket, Jack stabs him in the neck with a kitchen knife from above. The giant protecting the beanstalk falls off the edge of the realm as the trio rushes to it, thanks to Jack. When Bromwell sees the giant's corpse, he decides to chop down the beanstalk in order to prevent a huge invasion putting the safety of the earth over Isabel's potential return. Elmont stays behind to confront Roderick as Jack and Isabel descend the beanstalk and confess their developing affections. He kills him, but Fallon succeeds in claiming the throne before he does, leaving him little choice but to flee down the crumbling beanstalk or be imprisoned in the world of the giants. Fallon becomes king of the giants by wearing the crown like a ring. After the beanstalk is chopped down, Jack, Isabel, and Elmont all survive the fall. Jack forewarns everyone when they arrive home that the giants used Roderick's beans to construct beanstalks that they used to assault Cloister. When Jack, Isabel, and Bromwell enter the castle under attack from the giants, Elmont illuminates the moat by pouring oil into it. Fallon plunges into the moat and climbs down into the throne room. Fallon catches Jack and Isabel while the siege drags on and both sides battle for possession of the drawbridge, but Jack pours the last bean down Fallon's throat before he can eat him, causing a beanstalk to rip apart his body. Just as the giants enter the courtyard, Jack assumes the throne. He then commands them and sends them back to their land so they can destroy the beanstalks there. The prohibition on the princess being with a commoner is removed by Bromwell, allowing Jack and Isabel to wed and pass down the legend of the giants to their offspring. The giant's realm is shown to still exist above London in the present day as the enchanted crown is transformed over time into St. Edward's crown and preserved in the Tower of London. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.